Hello everyone and welcome to the Hippie Geeks. This is my extremely messy workbench in the garage. I have pretty obviously failed completely at keeping my work area clean, which might be an odd way to start out a video about keeping your work area clean, but it actually leads pretty well into the first point I want to make. One. Don't beat yourself up if you fail, just start when you can. Our life has been really busy in a lot of ways, and it is so easy to just put something on the workbench and it will get put away later. While that is technically accurate as it did get cleaned up later, I just wasn't expecting it to be a couple of months later. However, here I am now getting it all cleaned off and I am swearing yet again that I will not let it get this bad next time. So how do we make sure this doesn't happen again? Two, keep your area tidy as you work. Now, when I'm in the middle of a project, I wind up with a pretty terrible case of tunnel vision. While that is great in the sense that I am able to plow directly into a project and knock it out quickly, it also makes it hard to remember to slow down and look past the next step or look back at the mess I've been creating. If you take just a minute after each step of the process and clean up after yourself, it leaves a lot less work at the end of the day. 3. Leave time at the end of the day to clean everything up. At the end of the day, leave some time to completely clean up your work area. Sweep up the mess, clean up the scraps, and get your tools put away where they go. There is nothing worse than coming back to a project the next day and realizing you were so tired that you can't remember where you said anything. Not to mention that by cleaning up the night before, you have left yourself with a blank canvas the next day to start off strong. 4. Make sure that all of your tools and materials have a place. It is pretty hard to find anything if what you are looking for is scattered all over the place. If you have designated spots to keep your tools and materials, it makes it so much easier to find what you need and also put everything away at the end of the day. I have a full-size toolbox for all of my tools, one of the cabinets below the bench is for power tools, and there are several spots for materials. I know where to store the various screws and nails I use, so if Lindsay asks me where something is, I can easily give an answer. However, when everything is just getting set on the bench like it has been, it is suddenly impossible to find anything at all. 5. Keep the tools and materials you use the most the most easily accessible. You don't need to have a lot of room to be able to do projects, you just need to be efficient with the space that you do have. Keep track of the tools and materials that you are using the most and place them in the most easily accessible storage that you have. You don't want to have to keep digging for the things you use the most, that is one of the quickest ways to make a mess out of your space and wind up with the situation I have here. While those points would seem to be common sense, it can be incredibly hard to follow them when you have a limited amount of time and just want to get projects done. Hopefully I can look back at this video to see just how messy I allowed everything to get and avoid it happening ever again. At this point I had managed to get the bench mostly clean and couldn't stop myself from an impromptu project. We saved this fan from a garbage pile at our son's school. The fan portion still works great, but the place where the fan connected to the body was broken and I just hadn't fixed it yet. With a couple different glues and some scrap wood, the repair was complete. I used a clamp to hold the glue together on the body and a ratchet strap to support the back of the fan where I glued it in place. After that, it was time to finish and take a look at some of the projects we have coming up. There are the parts for what we are calling the Mayan lamp, a large metal tea kettle that will also be a lamp, a deadbolt to be installed into the bus door, a laptop that needs its screen replaced, a plastic welding kit to fix the coolant reservoir on one of our Saab 900 turbos, a cup holder to be installed in the other Saab 900 turbo, and an old tube radio case that we will be refinishing and repurposing as a computer case. So how do you folks keep your work area clean? Do you manage to clean up every time or do you occasionally wind up with a mess like the one I had here? Leave a comment below and let us know. If this is your first time here on the Hippie Geeks, it would be wonderful to have you subscribe. This channel is all about helping you unleash your life and create a world that you love. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check back every week for new videos. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.